Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to our remote video worship service today. And a happy Memorial Day weekend to you as well. Uh, I pray that it's a very restful and enjoyable weekend for each of you, and especially for all of our students and all of our teachers, uh, as you have finished up yet another school year this past week, and uh, definitely an odd and unexpected ending to the year, uh, but each of you navigated it so well, uh, and so congratulations on the completion of another school year. And then also, again, as I mentioned, being as it is uh, Memorial Day weekend, uh, we also want to express our, our deep gratitude to the men and women uh, who have paid the ultimate price to secure our freedoms here in this country. Uh, I know that many of you have loved ones or, or ones back throughout your heritage and lineage uh, that have served in our U.S. military and have lost their lives in defense of our nation. Uh, we are so grateful for them today. Uh, the freedoms that we enjoy in this nation are not the norm, uh, both in our day and age today, as well as throughout most of human history. Uh, we are very fortunate, and we owe that in large part uh, to those that have stood at the front lines and sacrificed all to secure our liberties. Uh, and so again, happy uh, Memorial Day weekend. For our scripture reading today, I would invite you to join me in the book of Luke, and uh, Luke chapter 18. And our worship theme this morning is, Be merciful to me, or have mercy on me, O God. Uh, here in Luke chapter 18, Jesus tells the very familiar story of both a Pharisee and a tax collector uh, who are praying in the temple. And one of them is trusting in his own righteousness. And actually, he's even boasting of his righteousness before God. But then the other is in the back. And he knows that his only hope, his only hope of forgiveness, of salvation, of cleansing is the mercy of God. And so he beats on his chest saying, Lord, have mercy on me. And so let's read there together, beginning in verse 9. So Luke chapter 18, verse 9 says this. He also told this parable to some who were trusting in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And then in verse 14, Jesus says this, and it would have been a shocking statement to the Pharisees. Uh, there were probably audible gasps that day when Jesus said this. So verse 14, Jesus says, I tell you, this man, the tax collector, went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Let's go ahead and pray together. Father in heaven, we want to thank you today, uh, ultimately, first and foremost, uh, for your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, our savior, our only hope of salvation. Uh, you tell us that uh, any, ev everyone who will come to him in repentance and faith will be justified. A broken and contrite heart you will not despise. You will not turn away. Uh, Lord, you crushed your own son uh, that we might be cleansed and forgiven and welcomed as your sons and daughters. Uh, this is great mercy. Uh, this is amazing grace. And so, Lord, as your word says in Psalm 57, 1, uh, we now want to repeat, be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me. For in you, my soul takes refuge. And so, Lord, as we will sing here in just a moment, again, we all repeat, have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on us. Thank you for your Son and our Savior. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 